In the ever so critical search for the Vikings wide receiver three, which is legit not critical at all, a name has recently popped up as a potential prospect, maybe, for the Minnesota Vikings because it's the offseason and any name that comes up, sure, why not? Let's examine it. None other than Nikhil Harry, Patriots wide receiver, third year man out of Arizona State who has officially requested a trade, a statement from his agent. For the past several months, I've been working in cooperation with the Patriots behind the scenes to put a plan in place to allow Nikhil to thrive in New England. Through two seasons, he has 86 targets, which obviously hasn't met the expectations the Patriots and Nikhil had when they drafted a dominant downfield threat who was virtually unstoppable at the point of attack in college. Following numerous conversations with the Patriots, I believe it's time for a fresh start and best for both parties if Nikhil moves on before the start of training camp. That is why I have informed the Patriots today I am formally requesting a trade on behalf of my client. He went on to say Nikhil understands a key ingredient to production is opportunity. He will continue to work hard to develop and refine his craft after missing a large portion of his rookie year to injury. His draft day expectations for his NFL career have not changed. We are confident success is just around the corner for him and will aggressively pursue it. Now, in his two years in the NFL, Nikhil Harry, a first-round pick, albeit at 32, racked up 45 catches for 414 yards with a catch rate of 56% across 21 games played. So, not great. He's a big body receiver, 6'4", 225 pounds, but he's slow. He can't create separation at all. And, all right, he's a big body target, so he's a contested catch guy, which is cool in college, but when you get to the pros where basically every corner you face is an All-American, that's not good enough. You're extremely limited. That's basically the equivalent of an NBA center who only knows how to do post moves in today's league. You're a liability when you're in the field of play. So, no, the Vikings should not trade for Nikhil Harry, even if it is a conditional sixth or seventh round pick for two reasons. Number one, the limited skills that he possesses just doesn't fit into what the Vikings need. Honestly, he reminds me of Laquan Treadwell, right? Oh, he's just going to outmuscle his man and come down with those tough grabs, and it just didn't work out. And reason number two, what does agent say? Opportunity. Hold on. Let me scroll up for a second. He said, quote, through two seasons, he has 86 targets, which obviously hasn't met the expectations the Patriots and Nikhil had when they drafted a dominant downfield threat and blah, 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 blah. The Vikings, the Minnesota Vikings operate a run first offense. And when we do decide to pass, it's going to go primarily to one of the two top 15 receivers in the league who just so happen to be on this team. Dalvin Cook, he's going to get more targets than Nikhil Harry. Irv Smith Jr. without Kyle Rudolph, he's going to get more targets than Nikhil Harry. Where is the opportunity for Nikhil Harry that he's searching for? Where is that going to be in Minnesota? And quite honestly, what more of an opportunity do you need if you're Nikhil Harry, if you're competing against wide receivers on the New England Patriots? It's not like that's a steep hill to climb. So, no, the Vikings should not trade for Nikhil Harry because, number one, it's just not a good fit. And, number two, you would basically be trading for Laquan Treadwell. Can you imagine if Laquan Treadwell, in his heyday with the Vikings, was like, I demand a trade. Are you fucking kidding me next video is monday we'll see you then